So in the last days, I came across the Google AI Studio, which is a kind of chat voice AI tool that enables you to fix a couple of things that you are faced with. It could be by using your camera on your phone and point to things in your room. It could be on a website. It could be in a software like, you know, Figma, Elementor or WordPress. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the AI Studio to try fix things or locate things in your WordPress website. Let's get started. This here is a landing page for the Gemini AI tool and basically when you come on this landing page which you can access by googling is it Gemini 2.0 and then just come over here to Gemini and that's how you find it and then you are here so what you can say is build with Gemini and that will take you into a platform like this an interface like this which all you need is a gmail ad address or a gmail account and then you'll be able to access this for free of course there are also paid plans but what we are going to look at the moment is using the free version of this feature now what we are interested in once you come on this landing page or in this platform is the stream real time so with a stream real time you'll speak to the gemini uh, ai and it will help you to locate things and, you know, fix issues. Let's get to the fun bit. Now, what I'm going to do here is to allow that Gemini can access my microphone. Uh, hey, Gemini. I can access your microphone, yes. Awesome. Would you like me to do something with it? Awesome, awesome. Let me share my okay. screen with you. And I'll say share the screen. So I'll share the entire screen here. And now here I'm going to be speaking to the Gemini and I'll ask it a couple of questions and then it will guide me what to do. So, Gemini. Sounds good. Okay, Gemini, I am inside my WordPress website and first of all, I am trying to figure out where things are. I have no idea. But the first thing is that I want to create a navigation for my website. So at the moment, I don't have really any of the items or any pages on my WordPress website. So I want you to guide me how to create a navigation. Where can I go to do that? I see you are inside your WordPress website dashboard. You would like to create a navigation for your website, right? Yeah. Okay. In your WordPress dashboard on the left-hand side, look for Appearance. Click on that to open the menu and then select Menus. Okay, I'm here on appearance and I am not seeing any feature as menus. I'm only seeing theme and editor. So what can I do now? Ah, it looks like you are in the themes section. Could you please click back on appearance? You should see the menus option there. Okay, I'm now on the appearance or I've clicked on the appearance, but I don't see anything like menus. Okay, I see that. It seems the menus option might be hidden within the theme settings. In your appearance menu, can you see an option for editor? If so, click on that. Okay, I've clicked on the editor. Oh, great. Now it takes me to a new screen where it says navigation, styles, pages, uh, templates, and patterns. So where can I go to create a navigation? Yes, I can see the screen now. Click on the navigation option, which is at the top left. Okay, I've clicked there and it shows one page, which is a sample page. How can I, you know, uh, create the navigation actually now? Okay, I see you have a sample page already. To create a navigation menu, you need to add additional pages first. Do you want to add pages to your site? Yes, I would like. Where can I go to do that? Okay, let's go back to the WordPress dashboard. In the top left corner, you see a blog home link. Click on it. Uh, I think this is the one you mean. So I've clicked there. And now where should I go to create pages? All right, you are back in the dashboard. On the left side, under home, click on pages. That's where you can add new pages. Okay, pages. I've said add a new page. And yes, here I am to a new screen. And a lot of things are happening. What should I do now? Okay, you are on the Add New Page screen. You can pick a layout from the Choose a Pattern section, or you can simply start with a blank page and add your content. What do you want to do first? 
I think I'll just start with a blank page without anything. Okay, then just click on the close button at the top right of the choose a pattern section and you will have a blank page. Okay, good here. Now I'll add my page name and where do I click to save the page? Okay, now Gemini has closed off. For most times you realize that, not for most times, it normally runs for about 10 minutes uh, or a session when you are speaking and sometimes it just stops and disappears so you have to start it again so i'm back here in the in the in the platform in the gemini or the ai studio and i'm going to just say something went wrong and i'm going to say talk to gemini uh this is like more activating uh this ai to speak to it again so now i have about 10 minutes and i'm going to say uh, allow the okay. microphone and also i'll share my screen so so you'll be sharing your microphone and screen yeah got it yeah yeah okay gemini i am back here i was trying to create a page in wordpress and i was giving it a name or oh, i had given it a name and i want to know how do i save it so that i can add it to my navigation it looks like you're trying to figure out how to save a page in wordpress so that you can add it to your navigation is that right yeah Okay, in order to save it, you would need to publish the page in the top right corner. Have you tried that? Okay. I've published it now. So where do I go to add it to the navigation? Now that the page is published, you need to go to the appearance section of your WordPress admin dashboard. And there, you can go to menus. From there, you can add this page to one of your menus. Oh, wait, do you need wait, me to show you that? Wait, so I only have the editor and themes and appearance. And before we had clicked on the editor, so I'll go straight there and under navigation. Oh, I see that under navigation, I have the homepage there. Is that the right way to do it? It appears that you have navigated to the right place to add your page to the navigation. Is that what you were looking for? Yeah, so can you guide me on how I can remove the sample page from my navigation? Sure. To remove the sample page from your navigation, click the three dots beside it, then select remove. Would you like me to walk you through that? There are actually no three dots besides the page, so I don't know how I can remove it at the moment. Ah, uh, my mistake. To remove the page, you can click on the sample page option itself, not the three dots. Then a pop-up menu will appear where you can choose to remove it. Do you see it now? Okay, I've clicked on the page and here it says edit page list. This navigation menu displays your website's pages. Editing it will enable you to add, delete, or reorder the pages. However, new pages will be will no longer be added automatically. So I say edit. Um, okay, you clicked edit. And what do you see now? Nothing happens. Oh, yeah, I've seen the three dots after clicking edit. And I click again on the page, so the dots have appeared. Now I can delete the sample page. Awesome. That actually worked. So uh, let's talk about the fact that let's talk about the fact that Gemini has been able to figure out that I am using a full site editing theme and the navigation of uh navigating the full site editing theme is different from you know navigating the classic themes so i am a bit surprised that it actually managed to do that and also to direct me going further forward inside the full site editing theme to be able to uh, navigate to the menu and also remove the sample page from the navigation i'm a bit impressed now let's try something else i am going to go to elementor for instance and I'll say install Elementor and I'll have it activated. I'll skip everything. I don't need to connect anything at the moment. So now I'm going to go back to Gemini and I'm going to ask it to guide me on how I can create, um, first of all, how I can set a coming soon page for my website uh, using the Elementor you know, feature because Elementor has the coming soon mode under tools. And I want to see if Gemini can actually 
uh, enable me to create it by following its, its, its instructions. So I come back here to Gemini. I'm going to start recording and share my screen. Okay, you'd like to share your screen. Is there anything specific you'd like me to look at? Yeah, Gemini, I would like you to help me. Right now I'm into the Elementor editor and I can't seem to figure out how to create or to enable the coming soon mode on my Elementor website. Can you please guide me on how to do that? Sure, you're having trouble enabling the coming soon mode in Elementor. I can help with that. Could you tell me which version of Elementor you are currently using? Just a moment, I look that up. So plugins, I am using the version 3.27.4. Okay, you are using Elementor version 3.27.4. With that version, the coming soon mode is typically found under the Elementor tab in your WordPress dashboard, then under tools, and finally in the maintenance mode section. Would you like me to walk you through that? Okay, so you said it's found under Elementor and then Tools. Okay, so I'm under Tools in Elementor, so where can I go? Okay, you are under the Tools section now. You should see a tab labeled Maintenance Mode. Click on that and you will find the Coming Soon Mode settings. Awesome, so it's here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for helping me. I can see I can now enable the Coming Soon Mode and here is where I can choose the template. So um, can you please guide me on how I can choose the, how I can design the template? How do I go about that? Great, you found the coming soon mode. To design the template, you'll need to select one from the drop-down menu or create one. If you choose to create one, you'll be taken to the Elementor editor where you can design your template. Would you like me to go over that process? I'm inside the Elementor editor and I'm having this default draft you know, page. Um, how can I start creating the coming soon page right now? Okay, you are in the Elementor editor for a default draft page and want to start creating a coming soon page. To do this, you'll want to start by adding widgets to the editor. You can drag and drop different types of widgets like headings, images, or text into the area. So I hope you get the gist on how the AI Studio from Gemini work. I was really impressed that it actually tries to help you as much as it could but it's not perfect it has its own limitations i've seen videos of people trying to um uh of people trying to fix excel issues others setting up servers using the gemini ai just speaking and talking and following what it is saying but i've also seen it like you know giving false information and it's mostly about 65 percent accuracy so before I close up the video, I have to mention that um, it is a free tool and by it being free, they are also recording and seeing everything on the screen and they use that to improve the AI. So I would, uh, you know, uh, advise that if you're trying to build something and you're using this AI, please don't share your sensitive, your sensitive information because, hey, they are also using it to train the AI. Just use it on things that you really don't care so much about. I'm curious to know what you think about this AI, but also the future of tutorial channels like this one. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.